Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the euro currency. As you can see, market has completed the condition that we actually have demanded from that market because we said on Friday update that if euro indeed is bullish, it has to move to the upside. It has only one direction because breaking 11050 support area will be absolutely devastating. Uh, moment for bullish condition, bullish scenario on the market and this was probably will put the foundation, put the start point for erasing of the bullish context on the market. That was absolutely vital for the market to hold about this confluence support that we have discussed here in, in the last week in our weekly report and the market has completed our first condition uh, that we have demanded from it. You can see rally has happened to the upside. Uh, in the longer term charts, on the weekly monthly chart, we still have some tricky moments that we discussed in the weekly report because uh, it's really uh, not quite obvious that market will continue upward action because in the monthly chart, for example, we have the potentially it could be the bearish grubber. By the end of the January, if market will climb a bit higher, but it's not fact yet, so we'll see what will happen. But on the daily, we continue to follow our we continue to follow our setup that we have. So uh, upper action has happened. So we see this upper rally, it's really good. But take a look what, what, what where we stand right now. And this upper action market hits tail ever bad and it stands very close to the resistance, 12 or 8 to 618 resistance area. It's also a CLP that already has been tested. So despite that we consider here the next destination point in area around 1280, this is OP target of our a, B, C, bottom pattern. Still, in the beginning of the week, this also will be the short week, guys. So you know, this will only Monday and Tuesday this will be working days. It's holidays, New Year's holidays. By the way, uh, just to, as announced, we probably, guys, will miss and skip the, the update on the 1st and the 2nd of the January because you understand markets will be just out of work and it's nothing to discuss and probably will return back to the daily update on the 3rd of the January on Friday. So actually the same as in this week on this Christmas holidays. So uh, despite that we consider the OP as 1280, here market stands on the level that with the high chances will trigger the pullback. And this pullback is really welcome to us because that for the daily traders, it will let you take the position. It's a retracement you could use for taking the long position. For intraday traders, it could form some bearish setups on intraday charts because retracement probably will be significant. That's the first moment. Second moment, guys, that we have, uh, as we have, from the one hand, strong bullish upside momentum. From the se another hand, we have strong resistance, daily or bad, and retracement. Combination of these two factors lets us suggest that we could get the power flowing because Here's some deep retracement will give us the bottom of the right wing of the pattern. At the same time, 1618 extension of the butterfly coincides, as you can see, with the OP targets. So butterfly could finalize this upper action. So that's approximately the scenario that we have on the daily chart that we intend to follow. Now let's take a look what we have on the intraday charts. On the follow time frame chart, I would like to say that's just was great achievement. You can see that's two similarity, similar action that we have suggested worked perfectly. So recall what we talked in our last weekly report. We said, take a look, guys, here's a very similar situation to this one. Kind of the engulfing type of the price action, bearish engulfing here is the same as here, the larger scale. Tour extended upside retracement above even 618, some, somewhere around the, uh, 77 or 82 retracement, minor fib, fib, fib ratios. This upper extension. Here is XOP has been ignored, market turns to the upside action and we said be careful guys. Despite the strong sell-off, the same as here, the XOP again could be ignored 
and take a look even the price action here in the beginning was the same so first retracement minor upward continuation another retracement and then the rally again first retracement second minor retracement again the rally so here we as you can see discover an new price shape so in the future if you will see this type of action on the euro kind of the engulfing type of the price action and the very deep upper retracement in some kind of the hand and shoulders shape and skewed hand and shoulders be prepared for the big drop somewhere to build between the OP and the XOP and be prepared that XOP will be ignored once market will hit the strong support area so that's really great achievement on the follow time frame chart you can see this setup has worked perfectly now uh, what to consider in the beginning of the week first of all we are talked about the possible bearish patterns as a byproduct of the reaching of the strong resistance on the daily since we have the perfect frosting action all eyes will be on the Dinapoli setups this could be bread and butter or better uh, it's more suitable here as the Napoli uh, double ripple sell because we suggest the retracement should be deeper and from that standpoint we could consider possible double repo sale pattern we have perfect thrust and first close below the three by three already stands here also uh, we could consider classical patterns here maybe it will be hand and shoulders so double repo also could be could take the shape of the hand shoulders as well uh, maybe some other patterns from double top or something of that sort so uh, anyway that will be the area where we will search for and look for possible bearish reversal patterns once will be will be formed personally guys I like as a destination point of this retracement level between 1130 and 1140 so some kind of the confidence it's suitable for for a double repo target and it's not too strong too deep so that's I think this will be an area that we'll keep an eye on it will be perfect if we'll get the kind of the A, B, C, D passion here. It was given us cartridge triple to buy, and this will be just great. And that will be approximately the level that we will keep in mind where we potentially could get the entry opportunity for a long position. And that's our trading plan for your accounts in the coming week. First, on Monday, we're watching for bearish patterns on the top, uh, trying to find chance to go short if you trade on the intraday charts. Uh, approximately with the target 1130 1140 so uh, for the daily traders of course you on, on Monday you, you should do nothing wait when retracement will, will be over for you this level to keep an eye on is approximately 1130 1140 where potentially we could get bullish pattern and where potentially market could turn up again so starting the second wind uh, of the butterfly on the daily chart and where it could reestablish upper action so that's what we intend to follow in, in the, on the next week.